Hey everyone, today we're going to create an exciting game called Dog and Crab. The objective is simple. Help the dog avoid the crab by jumping over it and earning points. As the crab smoothly glides across the screen, you must stay alert and time your jumps perfectly. Let's dive in. First, in Visual Coding 3, click the plus icon to start a new project. Delete the default sprite. Now let's add the sprite dog. And another sprite crab. Choose paint option and create a sprite game over. Select text icon and type game over. To change the color use fill option and, and you can customize color. You can change the font style too. Select Choose a Backdrop to give a cool background for our game. Sleek Blue Sky Backdrop to make it an outdoor look. Let's set the size of Crab to fit the game layout. Also adjust the dog size and then position the sprites. Next, let's start coding. First we need to make the Crab glide from right to left. Begin by when flag clicked, then forever block as a crab should glide until game over. We have two conditions that the X position is greater than minus 250. For that we use operator palette and give X position greater than minus 250. We give minus 250 as we want the crab to glide from left to right. If condition is true move minus five steps and keep repeating until condition is wrong. Else set X as 250. If you run, you can see the crab gliding from right to left. Now, make the dog move left and right. We begin coding by when flag clicked. We use forever control. And we have two conditions here. If pressing right arrow key. and pressing left arrow key. When pressing right arrow and left arrow move five steps towards each side. We give point and direction 90 for right arrow key and point and direction minus 90 for left arrow. To make the movement realistic, we have different costume for dog. So we use next costume for that. When we run the code, we came see when moving towards left, dog is upside down. So we use set rotation style. We use separate code block when flag clicked, then set rotation style to left to right. Run the code and you can see the dog moving left properly. Next step is to make the dog jump over crab. We use separate code block. When flag clicked, we give conditions inside forever block. Then if else condition, we have two conditions. So we use operator block. First condition is when pressing space key and then when touching the base color, we use color picker for setting the base color. When these two conditions are true, the value of Y change by 10. We give this inside repeat block. After this, we wait for 0 0.2 seconds. If this condition is false, then the else condition is not touching the base color. We give that inside the block using the operator block. If not touching the base color the value of Y changes by minus 10. Run the code. Now, we create variables to set the initial value for life, score, and touched. Click make a variable and create variables, life, score,
and touched. Let's set the initial value of life as 3. Set score as 0. And set touched as 0 initially. If you use another code block when flag clicked, to code what happens when dog touches crab, we use forever block. Inside if block, we give touching crab as condition. Then life decreases by minus one. Wait for one second and set touched as one to no dog has touched crab. Finally, if all the life is over, which means life is equal to zero, Stop all other code blocks. In the crab sprite, if the variable touched is zero, the score increment by one. When the score is increment, we again set touched as zero. If you check here, you can see game over sprite is always showing here. So we can code game over sprite as when flag clicked, inside forever. If else condition to show and hide game over sprite, if the life is equal to zero, then it should show game over sprite. Else hide it. Let's run the game and enjoy. Have a happy learning.